All right, uh, Clay, tell me about the backpack. What's going on there? Oh, uh, man, um, you know, it's a little rookie haze, and I gotta wear it the whole year. I mean, it's convenient, though. I get to put all my sneakers and socks and books in it, so, I mean, might, might as well wear it with pride if I gotta wear it the whole year. I, I wanna see it. Disney princesses, show me. Yeah. Yeah, it's just... It's just the marquee princesses, I guess, from Disney. Oh, I know it's Snow White on there, but I don't know the other ones. You gotta but... get to know your princesses. I know. Michael, what do you think of that attire? On your uh, I just thank God that when we, when I was a rookie, we were grown men. We never had to do with such childish and juvenile things back in our day. <laughs> we showed up, we were ready to play basketball. We didn't have time for such, such stuff. But I, I like it though, it's, it keeps you humble. Uh, being here tonight, his first NBA game that you're going to see, how proud are you? When, and what are you most proud of? Uh, we're all proud of the, how hard he works, you know, because it takes a lot of work to get here. And uh, Clay stays humble, and uh, he's all business. A uh, lot like his idol, you know. He, idolized Kobe Bryant growing up and always said follow the example of Kobe Bryant man it's all about uh, working hard and being, uh, being able to realize your dreams. Uh, what did your dad teach you basketball wise? What's the biggest thing growing up because he's you know he's he's been there the whole time but what has he taught you in, in basketball? Probably just you know stay committed especially if you love it and um, just to work hard you know those two little simple things you know they can take you a long way and um, yeah just stay committed and uh, you know, you'll prosper in the sport. And um, those two main things I've carried throughout my whole career. How's he been? Critical? Supportive? I mean, what's dad like uh, when, when, he's, when he's talking basketball with you? Probably a balance of both, you know, supportive on the parent's side, but you know, he's a former player, so you know, he's gonna be a little critical, you know, so. I mean, he played the game, so you know, it's hard to hold that back once you played it, you know. It gives me a lot of advice on what he sees and stuff. I appreciate it. But I, don't do it, but I don't do it overly. I just say stay aggressive and don't reach. That's the main thing. Stay out of foul trouble. And you know, you know what else he says, Clay? Whenever I, you know, we, we sit there and we look at your stats and we hear he goes, shoot the ball, Clay. You got to shoot the ball. That, that's coming from dad, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it's a, it is. He's a shooter. He's a shooter. That's what he does. So you got to shoot it. Uh, coach is saying that to you, too? Yeah. Uh, I mean, Coach J Jackson, he showed a lot of confidence in me. And he, he, he's giving me the green light so far to take these shots. So I think I'm getting better with that. And uh, six games in, I feel a lot more comfortable. And uh, get, just getting a feel of the NBA, I feel a lot better. And, you know, it's a big challenge for us tonight. Uh, what about going up against Kobe Bryant? I mean, hey, there's that fine line of, I idolize this guy, but now I want to kick his butt. You yeah. know, what, what's that? What's that like going into that game tonight? Exactly. You know, you you want to, you got to think you're as good as him. You know, it might not be the truth, but if you want to go out there and compete with him and have a chance to win, you got to go out there and, you know, think you're better than this guy. So if not, I'm just gonna, you know. If I get mashed up with Kobe, I'm gonna play 100%, just, you know, give him my all and contest every shot, you know. You gotta, he's gonna make some tough shots, you know, that's Kobe Bryant, but, I mean, I'm gonna treat him at, like any other player when I'm out there from a basketball point, cause, just cause, you know, we wanna get this win now, I'm on the Warriors, but it's pretty surreal, you know. Uh, it's a long time coming, you know, I've been waiting for this moment since I was a kid. Talk about fatherly love that you're feeling for him right now. Well, yeah, that, uh, the parent, parental love comes before anything else, you know, just because he's a basketball player, that's great, that's cool, but, uh, no matter what your children do in life, if it doesn't play basketball, you know, they're your children, and that always comes first. Uh, before I let you go, I need you to crit uh, critique him as a broadcaster. Yeah. Man, um, <laughs> I haven't really listened a lot this year, so I've been so focused on the Warriors, yeah, but... Uh, no, but in the past! In the past, uh... He'd watch TV and listen to Stu. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he'd rather do. <laughs> True, but I mean, no, he's a good announcer, you know. I, I used to listen to him and Spiro a lot, so, uh, yeah, that was a good balance between them and, uh, yeah, you know, I have no critical points for him, you know, he's pretty knowledgeable about the game, you know. He says some pretty, you know, dumb stuff sometimes, uh, it comes out of nowhere, I don't know. Just, uh, that's probably Bahamian in him though, I don't know. I'm gonna cut his allowance, I can't do that anymore, huh? Yeah, nah, that's right.